All right, to the weather now, meteorologist Ray Petlin joins us, and uh, a lot of rain coming. When's it start? Well, the rain is going to start late tonight, early tomorrow. It's going to start off spawning and then pick up and kind of just become steady and mm -hmm. stay with us tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. And you can see we have the clouds in place. Those aren't going anywhere. And zooming out, you can start to see some of the showers. This doesn't really look like much, but we're going to have a couple disturbances zip through here. One tomorrow, one Thursday, and that's going to bring a lot of rain. And the first one even has some snow and some freezing rain associated with that. Looks like that is going to stay well north of the area. We're going to be looking at primarily rain showers moving in. Look at these temperatures, though, and how they change quickly across the area. From Pittsburgh down into Charleston, West Virginia, we have a 15 degree difference. And then we have a 10 degree difference from Pittsburgh to Erie. So cooler air to the north, warmer air to the south than Pittsburgh up to State College is basically that dividing line right now. And that's going to be the tracks for the next system to come in. That'll push some warmer air our way, and we're going to see mainly rain. You can see that freezing rain, the pink, stays north. So we're looking at rain to move in here. It becomes most steady by the time we get to lunchtime. You can see that yellow there. That first disturbance comes through, and then we see it break up a little bit. Into Thursday, the next round of rain comes on, and I think Thursday's rain is going to be more on and off. And then Thursday evening, we get a good push of rain with the cold front coming through. Temperatures will fall through Friday and we'll have a much cooler setup into the weekend. Now, when it comes to rainfall amounts, this is what we're looking at generally for Pittsburgh, an inch or so of rainfall. Now, up to the north, we could have an inch, an inch and a third. And down to the south, we could have an inch and a half to two inches of rain along the Mason-Dixon line. Now, all this rain coming in with the snow melt that we've had and the previous showers that we've had are going to lead to some rises in the river levels. Now, this is the Ohio River at Pittsburgh. And typically, once you get to action stage, that's where the water starts to flow onto the Mon Wharf. We're expecting that to start happening early Friday morning. However, early Saturday morning, this is where the river crests. And this is going to happen at 22 feet at 22 feet water is about a foot deep on the North Shore River Walk and some of that water could even be trying to spill into the 10th Street bypass so we're watching this time period very closely for the river to crest hopefully not that high but 22 feet is about where it's looking right now and then the water start to drop so tomorrow rain showers about 60 from Monroeville to Pittsburgh to moon so as you travel the parkway you're looking at those uh, temperatures at 60 degrees 61 to South Hills 59 into the North Hills. Spotty showers early on, then steady rains for the afternoon. South for Uniontown, 60 degrees, 61. Washington and Waynesburg, Morgantown, 62. Up into the ridges, temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler, 56 in Somerset. From Indiana to Catanning, Ford City as well, 57 degrees and 60 in Greensburg as those rain showers continue. Then north of the city, it's the mid to upper 50, so 55 from Franklin to Clarion. You're looking at 57 in Butler, 56 Newcastle, 60 degrees for Beaver. Now tomorrow, the high temperature 60, mid 60s for Thursday. Both days, while they're going to be very warm, they're going to come with plenty of rain attached. When we do dry it up, temperatures will be falling on Friday and we'll have those cooler temperatures around for the weekend. You'll see some 40s return to the forecast Sunday and Monday.